Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the BSGL. Today we have All Star Weekend from Season 2 as we start off with our Rising Stars game. Rookies v. Sophomores. Here's Gallup Galifianakis, the Town Hawks rookie, knocking down the three, getting the rookies out to a 3 0 lead. Now, Big Show inside against Rich Mack as he throws it up and in over the MVP candidate. One point rookies lead. Here's Galifianakis again, driving on Lester Bates, putting it up with the left hand as he's made quite a bit of strides here to become a better uh, driving player. Here's Dyson. I don't know what Halpert was thinking on defense as he was way back as Dyson knocks down the three, nine to seven. Now here's Galifianakis again as Big Show comes over. Maybe a little illegal screen there against Bates, but Galifianakis knocks down yet another three. He has eight of the 10 points now for the rookies as Whitney knocks down a three of his own. <coughs> Ooh. Big sneeze there is, there's Moon catching a lob from Chubbs Martin, but it's still a 10 point sophomore's lead as Kenny Justice throws one down. Here are the sophomores and Alexander Walker running the break as he throws it up to Beretta, who punches it down with both hands. 26-12 as Moses Moon throws the lob to Chubbs Martin this time as that lob connection works both ways. As here's Halper going inside the Big Show who puts it in with the left hand. And MVP candidate Rich Mack fouls. And so far, Big Show holding his own despite the 17-point deficit as here's Cunningham throwing it up to Rich Mack as the pair of sophomore All-Stars find each other. As now 40 to 19, how about Galifianak is still scoring at will on a huge jam. Here he is, ISOing Bates again, going right, hop step, lefty layup is good. No doubt about it. 51 27, here's Morris down the lane for a man's jam as he punishes the rim with that slam. As now Lester Bates, a deep three, and this sophomore team is pouring it on. They have all sorts of talent. So here's Galifianakis again, driving right as he goes up, right hand, too easy. For the rookie out, uh, I don't even know what college he went to, but there's Kenny Justice driving on Dylan White, putting in the free throw and one, as I was going to say out of Oakland, but he's not out of Oakland as Moses Moon catches another lob. As here's Gaines, we haven't seen much of him yet as he's working on the all-star Cunningham. He steps back for three and knocks it down. How about that shot from Carson Gaines as now he's working on him again. How about another three? Yes, sir. His second three of the fourth. As now here's Halpert working on the other side. They got all sorts of congestion over there. He just drops it off to Gaines, who just decides to pull in. Why not? A third three in as many minutes here in the fourth quarter. As now with five minutes or two minutes left in the game, here is Galifianakis going up inside against Bates and Mack puts it in. As here he is again. Why not another jumper? As it looked like he was trying to maybe get the three, but he knocks it down nonetheless. As this will be an 80 to 51 win for the sophomores, as the rookies just could not keep up. It was still a very fun game to watch nonetheless. We now head into our three-point contest. As you can see, all of our participants right there, Moncrief, Manning, Domerkamp, Bates, Oakley, and Boyd, as Moncrief will lead the way here, averaging a nice nice amount for the Titans, who are leading the Eastern Conference season. Knocks down his first three and his second, does miss his third and fourth, but he knocks down the third one as we're going to pick him up all the way at his last rack. He has just 11 points as he's gone kind of cold through two through four, but he hits the first on rack Three on five and the third. Fourth is a miss, and the fifth does knock down. So a 15 point outing for Moncrief. As next up is Stan Manning, averaging 12 points for the Brigade. Of course, the Brigade hurting a little bit after the loss of DeWan Jones. He knocks down his first one, his second one, not his third. Gets a very late release after an excellent. That's a little weird from the CPU. As he knocks down three on the first rack, just two on racks two, three, and four. But on the fifth rack, first one is good, second one is a miss. Third one is good. Can he get the fourth? No. What about the last ball? He got it. So a 17 for Manning, making the most of these, those money balls. This next up is Domerkant for the Pandas. His first one is money. Second one, no good. Third is good. Fourth, no good. And his fifth is good. So everybody's three balled the first rack. As he went way cold on rack four, only hitting one. And then two on three and four. She's struggling here on the last rack, missing his first two and third. And he hits his fourth. What about his last one? Is it didn't look like he got it up in time. So just a 13 for Domer Kent. As here comes Lester Bates, who we just saw in the Rising Stars game, as he is starting out hot with a green bean. Make that two, maybe even three. As he's starting off with six points, as he led off with his money rack, which is a bold strategy, but he gets eight points out of it. As now here he is at the top of the key, he hit two on his second rack, already at 11. As he knocks down one from the top, make that two from the top. Fourth ball from the top is good as well. He's already at 13. 
as he's on money ball or uh, the money ball in the fourth rack is good he's he's made two in a row now on his last rack as he did, ran out of time he had hit a lot of shots but only gets 18 as he didn't hit any on his last rack because he just got there a little late as now the big man from orlando it's hayden oakley who will shoot next the only center in the competition his first one is good second one is off third one is good fourth one is good as he is hot from the beginning three on his first rack but just four more points as he's not hit a money ball yet but he has his money rack in the corner as he hits the first two and knocks down the fourth and misses the fifth so just a 13 for Oakley but he had six seconds to spare maybe you rushed it a little bit as now here comes all-star captain Mason Boyd as let's see if he can have a good outing first one is good second one is good third one knocked down nothing but green beans so far as he finally misses on the fourth ball but hits his money ball, so a five on the first rack. As we're showing off the second rack, yet again, it's his money rack. He's knocked down two, make it three, nothing but green here. As his fourth one, he doesn't green and he does miss, but his fifth is a knockdown. As we now pick it up here on rack number four, first one is good. Second is a miss. What about the third? Nope. Fourth, yes. And the money ball is, of course, good is now fifth rack as he only has six seconds left. He already has 20 leading the first round. Make it 21, 22. Can he pile off anything else on? Last one at the horn is no good as there's our standings through one. So Bates, Manning, and Boyd will be in round two as here's Bates round two. As he only has three points midway through as he's finally knocking down some shots here at the third rack. But he went completely cold on rack one and has only hit five in the second two racks. As here he is on the last rack, already running out of time. Just three seconds left. He doesn't even have double-digit points as he finally hits 10 as the last one won't count. So not much there. As here's Manning, and I don't know what happened here because I was not even holding my controller. But as you can see, he had a 30-point outing apparently. But I, I seriously don't know. It must have just glitched because I promise you I did not hit A there um, to, like, skip past this. I don't know what happened. I did that last year too, but uh, last year I accidentally just hit A trying to, you know, get through it a little quicker but here's Boyd not really much of a prayer here since uh, Manning really posted something incredible in in a simulation and I don't know why but in simulation they always do so much better on this than they do normally uh, so yeah um, we'll have to blame this one on 2k uh, as Manning will come home with a three-point championship like I said I really don't know what happened there but Boyd only posted a 13 in his last one anyway but yeah he wins pretty handily based on the simulation I wish it wouldn't have happened but like I said I mean I'm pretty sure my controller was even off at that point, so I don't know what happened. Cause you, I'm, I don't know. But oh well, into our dunk contest, baby. The dunk contest participants are Lou Clark, Midas Khan, Wade Cage, and Quentin Pope. Wade Cage did win this competition last year, so it's nice to see him defend his title here in year number two. As Lou Clark will get us going here to start, as he's going to give himself the lob, a little 360 left-handed jam. Definitely not saying anything too bad, but definitely not anything too exciting here to start off. As uh, It's definitely solid, but we could definitely do better as they will give him a 41, which I think is a little bit generous. As here's Midas Collin going from the baseline with the lob as he goes down between both legs. Well, not between both legs, but cocks it down to about his knees, spreads the legs. you got to love the showmanship as he punches at home. Still not anything too terribly wild. But a 40 for Midas Khan is now Wade Cage is actually going to get a lob from a Sting player, as a, which is a little weird. Usually they you know use their own teammates, but Wade Cage, you know, whoever's in the building, I guess, he goes off the uh, off the goal and punches at home, so he gets a 47. As now here comes Quentin Pope to end round one. He's going up with a windmill, as I think that was a two-handed windmill, definitely a cool dunk, but really, I don't know if it's dunk contest worthy as he ends up with only a 37. So after one, Wade Cage has a healthy lead of six points behind the person in second, which is Luke Clark, who goes underneath the leg, started with the right hand, goes underneath and finishes with the left. Definitely a cool dunk. Maybe the best one we've seen tonight. Let's see what the judges think, as he will get a 45. So here's Midas Khan. How about a little cartwheel in slam? Haven't seen that one before. As he cartwheels, jumps up, slams at home. As uh, I mean, I guess I guess he gets a 47. I think it's a little weird. As here's Wade Cage going down, touching it with both hands between the legs, and then throwing it down with the right, which he started with. As it looks like he did like the little throw-in dunk there. Didn't really get much of the rim. 
As he collects a 45, and he should still have a pretty healthy lead after one. As uh, Pope throws down another windmill, this time starting with the left and finishing with the right. A nice little switcheroo in the air. Still not anything crazy for Pope, but it will earn him a 40 as after one, Cage leads by five with Luke Clark seven behind and Wade K or, uh, Pope about 20 behind as he's going to pull the Vince Carter out and go 360 and put the whole elbow in the rim. As that earns him a 47 as now he would need Wade Cage to get less or a 40 or less to tie or win us. Here's Midas Khan going up. Win, or he hit the lob, goes underneath both legs, finishes with the left, started with the right, and that earns him a 47. So if Wade Cage gets a 42 or lower, then Midas Khan will win, as he pretty much does the same thing just without the lob. As a nice underneath the legs, as he earns a 39. So as of right now, Midas Khan will take home the dunk contest, and unless, well, yeah, Quentin Pope can't take it because he's still 20 behind, even uh, Cage. So yeah, Quentin Pope earns a 43 on his last one, a nice dunk. As Midas Khan wins, beats Cage by one or by two and Clark by one. As Pope was 13 behind the winner. As Midas Khan does win our dunk contest. Wasn't the best one, wasn't the worst one either. Uh, last year's was pretty exciting. This one, I'm not saying it wasn't exciting, but maybe not as good as now we head into our all-star game. As it is Team Boyd versus Team Shelton. What we all want to see is how about a little more dunk contest from Mason Boyd. Going up, goes behind the back and punches it home, throwing it from his left to his right. A crazy slam there. Here's Johnson going inside, and Heinsohn says no. Too much height on Team Boyd. As here's Boyd in the corner, throwing the lob to Doug White, who punches it home. It's 8-3 to three now. As here's White finding Boyd as he continues his three-point contest hot streak and puts his team up eight here early. They're now up 14. Here's Heinsohn inside. No good as look at the size advantage for Team Boyd as Jean Francis takes it away from Spears. 14-point game. Here's Pope behind his back. Step back three from deep is good in the face of Chuck Armstrong. It's an 11-point game. Here's Pope again, this time step back in the mid-range. And there was never a doubt about it as he puts on a show off the bench as Ivan Heinsohn gets the pass from Khan inside and knocks it down. And and one for Heinsohn as he knocks down the free throw. As now let's see what Kevin Ball can do. He's looking around. He throws a laser inside to Heinsohn who dunks it all over Alan Smith. As it's a 16-point lead as Pope throws the behind the back to Smith who throws the lob to Pope who is putting on a show here. 14-point game. Here's Ball to Doug White as he punches home the reverse alley-oop slam. Here's Smith this time throwing it in inside to Shelton who goes up and around Kevin Ball's arm and one for Lamar Shelton, the captain of Team Red, as he knocks down his free throw. 30 to 17, here's Kevin Ball looking around. He goes to Will Trust, top of the key, who gets a screen from Rich Mack and knocks down the three. The little man buries it from way outside. 37-25, here's Will Trust again for a three, this time in the second half, and it's good as well. 46-27, Trust looking around, throws the lob to the big man, Francis. He's one of those Skyliners from New York as here he is going inside against Akabono. Shang is Shang. No fear against the Giant. Puts in the shot and the foul. No, he's not afraid of contact. As here's Quentin Pope going inside. He goes up. That one swatted away by Khan. Khan grabs it and he's hustling the other way. Nobody got in his way and he goes underneath the leg for a ferocious jam showing why he won the dunk contest. As here's Johnson taking it away from Stone, driving on Boyd as he throws the lob to George, who punches it home with both hands. 20-point game now. Here's Stone out to Boyd for another three in the face of Owen Bradley. That's now a 59-38 game. Here's Evan Stone putting a spin on Riley and then changing speeds and going up for the jam as he dunks it home. As now Riley mid-range, no good, but George is there for a nice putback slam. All sorts of highlights here in the All-Star game. It's been very exciting despite the score as DeAndre Johnson goes inside, knocks down the floater and the foul. As here is Johnson inside throwing the lob to George. I couldn't even tell who that was. As now here's Trust working on Bradley. He's going to go up and throw it down. The reverse jam as he does the pull up on the rim. No real worry about the little man breaking it as he gets the and one with the foul on George. It's a 22-point game. Here's Cunningham. Working on ball, looking around, goes inside to George, who shows no fear going up against Rich Mack and puts it down. And it didn't look like Rich Mack wanted any part of that one. As Team Mason will win this one over Team Lamar 74-53 in an absolutely action-packed all-star game. 
in season two as we will now head into our box scores. So here we are checking out all the box scores on the on All-Star Weekend, the Rising Stars game. Gallup Galifianakis put on a show for the Rookers, rook, Rookers rookies, nothing but buckets for Gallup, Gallup, Gallup Galifianakis, 37 points on 17 of 30 shooting, 19 for the rookie Carson Gaines, 12 for Moses Moon, 8 and 16 for Big Show, who held his own pretty well against Rich Mack, and then just four for Darren Simpson, Chubbs Martin, and Dylan White. Nobody really had much else besides uh, these front three guys up here. Then for the sophomores, 26 for Lester Bates, 23 and 10 for reigning defensive man of the year, Stephen Morris, 15 for Justice, 14 for Green, 12 or 13 for Beretta, 12 for Dyson, and then 12 and 24 for Rich Mack, and then 10 for Whitney, 9 for Cunningham even. As then, of course, we saw... Whoops, uh, the uh, three-point contest, dunk contest. If you didn't see the winners, then, I mean, you didn't watch the rest of the video. Uh, Team Mason smoked Team Lamar. For Team Lamar, Reggie George the way with 27 and 11. A great game from him. 15 for Pope, 12 for Shelton, 10 for Gilbert, and then not really a whole lot going on for anybody else down here. As for Team Mason, Will Trust led the way with 29, 22, and 15 for Heinsohn, 18 and 17 for Doug, 15 for the captain himself, 10 for Chuck, and then 6 for Antonov, Kahn, Stone, and Francis. And then four for Oakley as Midas Khan grabbed three blocks as well. And Ivan Heinsohn had seven steals. Nice game from the big man. As that does do it for All-Star Weekend, thank you guys so much for watching All-Star Weekend. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. And let me know any predictions for the rest of the season. We've got, what, like, uh, probably, let's just see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Probably two more videos that we will wrap up the end of this season with. Um, and then we will be into the playoffs. So let us know, let me know who you think will make the playoffs, who you is your favorite player, who's your favorite team, all that crap. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.